this year in English, we did this six-word memoir thing. Mine was, I have two dads. They're gay. I'm Mark Eisenhart. I'm Daddy. Um, I'm Cece. I'm 16. I'm also an Eisenhart. I am Lee Eisenhart, and I am 14 years old. And I'm Eric Kulisaid. We are the Kulisaid Eisenhart family. When I was in fifth grade, it was when uh, the first time the question of who was my dad and like how did that come to be? Because we were studying genetics in science, and so I asked. <laughs> My papa, Papa, since you have blue eyes and I have blue eyes, does that mean I'm yours? And so that's how it all started. We were speechless. Yeah, we, we <laughs> were. She was ten mechanic. years old. We were not ready for that question. We said, you know, Daddy and Papa couldn't have children the normal, you know, the normal way or the way most people do. And Mommy gave us a great gift, and you know. CC your daddy's biological child and leave your papa's biological child. And then they were like, can we go watch TV now? <laughs> <laughs> There's never been a mystery about that part that they have a mom and they have two dads. And so this conversation was really the first time we broached, well, okay, they're two dads, but you're both not our dad. I think both Leave and I, when we found out who was our real dad, it didn't really change anything because we both knew that they were our dad. I mean, I sort of liked it the way it was. Like, when we were ready, we got to know. We were raised as normal children. There was, yeah. We weren't raised as if there was something different or wrong with our family. So, like, we did all the things that every family did. We went on vacations, we, we had parties, birthday parties, New Year's Eve parties. Yeah. We saw our friends on the weekends, so it wasn't any different for us than, I guess, someone with heterosexual parents. Don't be afraid to ask whatever you want. If you're confused, chances are they probably won't know you're confused. Um, so, like, ask the questions that's on your mind and don't, like, stew on them. You don't tell them any more than they ask. You answer their questions as they're asked literally. <laughs> and then just wait for them to take the lead. And I think that that's what we did the whole time. You know, other than the fact that we weren't prepared for it, I think it's obviously turned out. It's, it's, it's a good story, too. 